Hello there everyone and welcome back for another map review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the USA Legend map version 2.1. This is a 4x multi-fruit and the file size is 952 megabytes. What I'm going to do is explain a few things regarding this map. We'll go over and take a look at your field sizes and prices, your multi-fruit and your sell points. We will take a look at your starting fleet then we will end with a tour of the map. So let's take a look. Okay folks, once you load up the map for the first time, this will be your starting position right here. Once again, this is the USA Legend Map version 2.1 4X Multifruit. File size for this is 952 megabytes. There's 54 fields on this map, 3 in which you own, fields 6, 9, and 10. Field sizes and prices will go over momentarily. There is multifruit on this map, there's 10 of them. 17 different cell spots, and like I said, it's a 4X map. So a couple of added notes to go over here. First thing you're going to have to do is unzip the first zip file. Take out the zip file inside and put it inside your mods folder. There's also two text files in there if you want to give them a quick look. But all you need is the map. There's also compost added to this map and dynamic mud. I'm not sure if it's seasons ready but I'd imagine it is. So let's go over and take a look at the PDA. Here's the map there in all its glory. Big, nice, square, rectangular fields. A couple of odd-shaped ones, but pretty nice map, I have to say. 4X. You start right there in the middle. So as far as field sizes and prices, now, smallest field on the map, right over here, these are the three you own. The smallest one is field 10. That is 3.41 acres and will cost you $138,240 if you were to buy it. Now, the biggest field on the map, 46, way down here, this thing is huge, at 286.54 acres and will cost you $5,527,939, so not cheap, but it's a huge piece of the land. So let's zoom in here a little bit, a BGA train silo there, biogas plant, steel cow, animal dealership, or Mitchell, uh, AG salt, Farmer's Green, Sky Dog Ranch, Sky Dog Ranch Boxes, the Co-op, Imperial Agro, Adams Plain Silo, Farmer's Co-op, you get a pig silo right here, so you own other pieces of land besides your fields here, you own this here, and you also get this up here in this plot of land with your animals on it, pigs, cows, sheep and chickens here, that's your main farm with the silos, Jack wood chips, jack wood. Got your lumber over here. Get a couple of cell spots up top. Frank Farm, a gas station, Tree Line USA. We'll take a tour of that as we're going around. So yeah, that's the biggest and smallest field on the map. So you can generally tell what's going to be in between. And we will take a look at the multi fruits. So there's ten. There's carrots there. Also onions, rye, spelt, millet, poppy, sour gum or sorghum. Hops, triticale, and tobacco. So 10 extra multi-fruits. You also have contracts on this map. You don't start with any animals. And you can see he has some different icons up here for the uh, different products. Some forage, milk, hay, grass, fertilizer, digestate, slurry, lime, herbicide. Here's your carrots and onions and hops. All your multi-fruit right there. Then you got compost right at the end. And then you get a bunch of places to sell them at. Like I said, there's 17 sell spots here to sell your product. We will now take a look at your starting fleet. So it looks like we got a John Deere 6250R tractor. We got a quad track 620. We also have a Case 380 CVX and a Fent Vario 936. We get a few tractors to start there. We have a Warrior Semi, a large New Holland Harvester, a pickup truck, a large tipper, a medium sized tipper, a header for that New Holland. We have a plow, a cultivator, cedar, a sprayer, a dry fertilizer spreader or lime. We have two mower attachments for your tractor. We have a tether and a windrow, a forage wagon. We get a square baler and a square bale collector. A front load attacher for your tractor, a bucket to go with that. We have a weight here, two weights. So you have a bit to start off here. Not bad at all. So let's begin our tour guys there's our pickup truck in the yard i don't think we can get into the house but we could always try uh let's go on over here i'm just going to reduce my speed a little bit here and i'm also going to turn my flight on 
so I can show you the immediate area this is your immediate farm you see there's mud everywhere around here get some water some fertilizer down there all kinds of places to set up your stuff we have our uh, sheep over here and our chickens some bales over there it's an open pen right here there's our house so we get these nice garages here all the doors open and stuff some of these you have to open from the inside guys so if you notice you can't open it you can definitely open it from the inside get inside here and you can see these doors have these buttons over here that's going to operate those. There you can upgrade and sell your vehicles. That door opens as well. As well as that door, light switches. Now I tried the light switches but I couldn't get them to work. So I don't know if they just come on automatically at night or I'm just not hitting the switch right. but. Pretty nice looking barn. We got a couple of silage pits over here. A couple of these Kwanzaa huts. Got our plow inside. Our baling stuff. There's some of our equipment just across the lot there. Let's get up here a little bit. So yeah, you got a pretty decent farm here to start you off with. Here's your lime. Is that lime? Yeah. Got to get in to the side door to open them. Get some refills here. There we go. Couple of our tractors inside. Probably just didn't hit it right. There's our silos over there drop off and your pickup. Nice detail in this map. Looks like we got some seed down there. So very nice. That's a look at the immediate farm. Okay, so what we'll do is cut across here. We'll go over and look at the shop first since it's right here. See all kinds of mud on this map. Okay, there's the dealership. So your vehicles, ATM there. Looks very nice. The shop. Okay, onward. Let's crank the speed up here. We'll go times eight. So we're just going to cut right across to the east here and then we'll just go all around the outside of the map. So here's uh, Jack's Wood coming up here. Lumber Yard. Lots of lumber, lots and lots of lumber. Place to sell your logs, your wood chips. Very nice. Got this little stream coming through the countryside there. There's a train track. Is that a train track? Yeah. In the highway. Kind of flows together pretty nicely. Got some wind turbines. Come over here and take a look at our cows. This is where you're going to keep all your cows. Your slurry pickup. A couple of silage bunkers there. Please turn off the taps after use. Save water. Think green. Let's see if these gates work. 
Yes, sir. Very nice. Okay, continuing on. There's a funky little field with a big rock in the middle. Continuing to the north. So, yeah, you'll have to cross this. I like the truss going around the map there. Looks like we got some grass over here. So we're in the northeast corner, coming across the top. Size of these fields, huge. There's a bunch of potatoes. Okay, what are we coming up on here? The market, looks like kind of the garden center. Got some manure sales over here, a slurry. Drop off. Got a forklift over in the yard here, very nice. Yeah, this is a nice map. We have a train station here. Drop off your train, pick up. Here's your semi. I don't know if that's ours or what. No, that's just for looks. Everything's gated in here. You've got your fields over here, right on the side. Waterway there. Got a little island in the middle here, that's cool. Another place to sell manure and bales. Let's take a look here. Frank Firm. Slurry to sell, very nice. So yeah, you can sell, sell more manure and slurry there. size of this field. That's not even the biggest one. So we'll come over by the tree line here. Place to sell some grain down below. Coming up on the reservoir. Some forestry scattered in there. Not a whole lot, but there's a road to come across to this side here. There's your train. Okay, we're right over in the northwest corner now. Got some construction going on over here. What you building, fellas? Is that carrots? No. Oh my god, that's a lot of carrots. Okay. So yeah, you'll have to follow the road in here up to this mountainside. I love all the different elevations. Okay, stepping on the gas pedal here, folks. Just got some big open lands here. We're going to sneak on by the Agra LB. Another cell point down there. Here's one of our trains. Continuing on, so you got the pig silo. Here's your pigs down here. Pig food, some water. Got a couple of dirty trailers over here. Pig transports. Sorry, pit. There's your sorry pit. Got a BGA bunker over here. Some hot air balloons on the map. Another place to sell manure and stuff. There's some bales, some lumber. Okay, we'll cut back across here, take a look at the farmer's co-op, and then come right down the bottom. Puppy. Yeah, some pretty big fields indeed. Okay, another sell spot there, guys, at the Farmer's Co-op. Got a big field over here. There's a nice little spot for some placeables. There is some nice spots for placeables, I've noticed. We got some uh, solar panels set up down there. 
Okay, we're coming up on 46. Here's your big field. You're going to have to deal with these tur wind turbines, but this is going to bring you in a lot of cash right here. Coming up on the biogas plant, you got another little place for placeables down there. Biogas. Oh, look at all the silage bunkers there. Six of them. Very nice. Cool textures on the ground. Get some wheel loaders over here ready to roll out. Oh, I'm getting a little lag there. I like all the uh, equipment on the map. That's cool. Some harvesters in there. Another little lake over here. Okay, head back down south. We'll take a look at the animal dealership and the steel cow. Well, this got a different little elevation to it, doesn't it? I didn't notice this. There's your way in and out. So this is like elevated, all this. Sorry if I'm going too fast there, guys. This is a 4X map. Very cool. Animal dealership, guys. There's some cows. Oh, we got a hanging light. A floating light. Big map. Okay, pushing on. I think that's the dairy right over here. Yup. milk products eggs all another customer down below yeah there's all kinds of vehicles on this map I like it never seen like a big forestry area so there's like a mixture of trees but there is forestry look there's some over here it's just gonna be scattered yeah here's a pretty decent forestry area here Right by the big rock. Okay, let's come on up the east coast here. Got our horses over here. Hello, horses. Got some palm trees scattered in there. Little training area for them. Drop off. There's the hurdles and everything set up. You got your ranch there. Very nice. Okay, let's come on back over here. We'll cut right on across here. I like the mud on the map. And we've seen that too. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. There's a lot of detail. Very nice map. We get our roundabout, roundabout down below. And then we're back to the farm here, guys. So not bad. I like this map. Good potential uh, multiplayer map for sure. So, guys, that was the USA Legend map version 2.1. That's a 4X multi-fruit. File size for that was 952 megabytes. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you can leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen. Then hit the subscribe button and the bell, and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help and contribute to the channel. It really helps out. So, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.